I, I remember in uh, 2014, I got an email from Russ, and it said, your next mission, if you choose to accept it, is Samoan Clipper. And I never say no, <laughs> but mostly it's, you're taking a cold case. Uh, one of the uh, Pan American, one of their slogans was, there are no distant lands. Um, you know, it shaped the, the world that we're in today and brought us all, all closer. Uh, it connected the world in a way that, that, that we didn't see again until the, the invention of the internet. You know, music had, spent, had actually started flying in 1912 and, and spent a 25-year career developing modern aviation. Pan Am uh, was a new airline. They were risk takers in that they were trying routes that hadn't been flown before. And the pilots all knew they were risking, but they were honored to assume that role. And Pan Am at the time was striving so hard to show people <laughs> flight was fairly new. They were trying to show that flight is safe. People were afraid to fly. They thought it was a big adventure. So these pilots were out there showing, look, this can be done. We can make these long trans-Pacific airmail routes and we can do this. And then something like this happens and it shakes the public confidence again. The soundings they had at the time showed that the water depth was they believed a thousand fathoms or six thousand feet. They spliced together every piece of line they had available on site who had reached three thousand feet. So it was just out of reach to, to any technology even you could imagine in 1938. Well today that is well within reach of the technology that you see here uh, at Ocean Exploration Trust. A cold case becomes alive and very exciting. And a cold case is a huge question mark and who wouldn't want to try to solve a mystery? I want to show how you take a clue, you develop it through research, and then it culminates in the expedition and you find your final answers.